Hi guys, Chris here, and I've not made a review in a long time, so um, yeah, if you've been watching my videos lately, it's stuff that's been recorded quite a long time ago. I take a long time to get things. So this one's going to be about the um, Henry Winterman's Corona Sumatra, previously called the Corona Deluxe, which I believe I have reviewed before, but I thought I would do a re-review. As you can see, bottom half is just smoking labels, why not? Uh, kind of decent looking shape, I guess. It uh, looks quite good. Without the smoking labels, it'd probably look a little bit better. I like the uh, gold red look it's got going on here. And the thing to point out is there is a hole in the cap, which is, you know, never a bad thing. If you've got it in the humidor, it's going to be fine. But, um, you know, this plastic wrapper is never that much of a good quality thing. So it'd be fine if you bought it from Tesco's. I bought this from Tesco's. It was just a little bit less than five pound. So it's, you know, pretty good value shop cigar, I guess. Just you can pick these up. If it's any good, then, you know, that might be a good thing for most people to just get a hold of. But uh, yeah. So um, we'll have to see about this. It should be fresh. I've had it in my humidor for quite a while. Ah, the uh, band comes off inside the wrapper. I like to have bands on scars, so this one is a bit uh, cheapy. So I might just take it off just for uh, the looks of it. Focus is probably not going to work too well because, uh, of course, the wrapper is a bit on the shiny side. Yeah, give this a second. There we go. Now you see Henry Winterman's logo. It's Corona Sumatra and yeah, it, just, it just feels like it's just being printed on someone's home printer, you know what I mean? Um, yep. Pretty average looking. If you bought like uh, the cheap Dutch cigars you could buy a lot of places, this kind of thing you're looking for. I don't think I'll go for the band. It does look very cheap and budget right now, but it's better than with that band. So a thing here I've read is that uh, it's supposed to have a Sumatran leaf wrapper and, well, as obvious, it's supposed to have tobaccos from Java, Brazil, Colombia and Dominican Republic, according to this. So, um, I don't know, if it tastes good, it's good. If not, we'll see. It's only a cheap cigar. It's listed as full body. Get some matches here. By the way, um, if anyone knows where to buy these, the uh, law matches for cheap, then let me know because, you know, I sort of rely on getting them from my smoking shop when they ever, um, whenever I get them with an order, because they're kind of uh, very good. So yeah, we'll just give this one a try now. I love the light matches. But yeah, this big match is very, very good. I'm just going to start a stopwatch here, just so I can see how long the uh, cigar is going to last. Starting that now. It does have a strong um, Vasco de Gama, if you've had one of those, that's um, pretty much a pure Brazilian scar from what I remember. Very, very, um, very, very similar to that. It's quite strong on the Brazilian side. Moderately creamy, it's um, pretty nutty. It does taste a little bit like your average cheap cigar. I have reviewed this before. Um, but, you know, it's such a long time ago, I'm not sure how well that review went. Compared to now, I think it's probably, you know, I should be re-reviewing uh, re it. But, um, yeah. So, uh, so far, it seems to be holding up like what you'd expect, but it does have some good flavors in there. So it's not, you know, completely cheap. Yeah. 
not quite enough smoke coming through there. So it's, it's burning kind of... You usually expect these to burn very, very quickly, but it's burning kind of um, slow enough so far. I do, I do kind of like the wrapper. It does remind me of a cheap cigar, but it's just that little bit darker. Maybe a little bit of extra oil in there. Not quite sure well how um not quite sure how well this will show up. But you know it's feeling okay. Yeah, very nutty and uh, sort of a creamy mix in there. It tastes a little bit um don't know how to describe it, it's kind of um, planty, plant material, it feels, um, you know, riper tobacco, it's not been, you know, well aged. So um, it does have a bit of that extra sweet taste to it. But um, yeah, that's my initial words on it, I will make another clip coming up soon. And in that, I'll be maybe, you know, down here, maybe halfway through the scar, and I'll get my thoughts on how it's been to that point. So, uh, I'll see you in a second. So, um, it's 27 minutes in. I've not, um, not made a clip on this yet. Uh, I should be making a clip, you know, about halfway. We're probably a little bit ahead of that now. But I've just been sitting here enjoying smoking this, so I got a little bit past it. It's really not that bad. Um... I think I might have given it a bad review before, but uh, I don't know, I think I'm getting into the flavours, it is, you know, the cheap, pretty standard flavours, doesn't taste like the best of tobacco, but it seems decently well constructed, it's, uh, you know, smooth enough smoke for a amount of time, it's only £5, so it isn't really that bad. Fail rings. Not working for me today. So um it is pretty pretty strong that you taste, I guess, just when you oversmoke it like that. There's nothing all too much to say about this. It is just pretty basic um sort of grass tasting tobacco, it's nothing too much. There's no no coffee hints in this, no chocolate. Nothing on that entire side of the spectrum. It's uh, pretty nice. I would say mostly these uh, Java fillers tend to be uh, of that kind. I'm not quite sure how well the ash has been doing since I did knock over the scar and uh, knock the ash off. So I don't uh, think with this tobacco, obviously, a cheaper short filler is not going to hold on too well. But um, I don't know. Yeah, it's starting to work. Maybe a little bit creamy. Nothing all too bitter in there. Um, maybe a little, but yeah. So this is more we're talking about what the cigar doesn't have. Um, but you know, it's a plain, decent enough cigar, so I probably think I'll be recommending this, but we'll see when we get to the end of it. So I'm going to stop recording now, and I will see you again in a second. So this is just the conclusion to the um, Henry Winterman's Corona Sumatra. Just noticed a little bit of a vein in the scar and it's, you know, handling well. So far the burn's been very good. We are 52 minutes in, so, you know, you could probably get this in an hour. I smoke it quite fast in the review segments, a little bit of tar build up because of that. Roll of all taste has been very good. It's pretty good job of tobacco. That's probably the most predominant thing. So, um... Yeah, I say overall not the highest quality of cigars, of course it's only £5. For that it's pretty good, the job taste is very good. It's quite sweet, quite nutty, although it does taste like it's not very um, very well aged tobacco. It feels, you know, straight off the plant almost. So, um, yeah, I would probably give this, you know, a good value rating. If you're buying a cheap Dutch cigar, you should buy this because it's got the good flavours to go along with it. It'll last quite a long time. So um, that is the end of this review. The plug is just starting to fall apart, so I don't think I'll be smoking this anymore. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. 
Also, don't forget to check out the description of my videos. There I include places where I buy these cigars, although I did buy this in Tesco. You can buy these in a lot of your local shops. I believe they renamed the Corona Deluxe to the Corona Sumatra, so you might find both. Uh, there's also a link to my Patreon in case you want to support me, and also a link to my Facebook page where I post a lot of content you don't get to see here. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.